World Health Organization, I'm talking about WHO, has warned that many young Africans are turning to substance abuse. Well, UN predicts that by 2030, a number of drug users in Africa will increase significantly by some 40%. Well, Ghana's new drug law has decriminalized drug use and dependence, treating it as a public health issue. Well, efforts are, however, underway to prevent illicit drug use amongst Ghanaian students. According to the UN Drugs Agency, the most often used illicit drug on the African continent is currently cannabis. The second most frequently used class of drugs are amphetamine type stimulants, which include ecstasy and methamphetamine. The World Health Organization has warned that many young Africans are turning to substance abuse. The UN has predicted that by 2030, the number of drug users in Africa will increase significantly by 40%. Through intense advocacy by civil society organizations led by POS Foundation, New Narcotic Control Commission Act 2020, Act 1019, was passed on 20th March 2020 and assented to by the President on May 11, 2020. The new law represents an important example for drug policy reform advocacy in West Africa. Ghana's new drug law decriminalizes drug use and dependence and treats it as public health issue. The new law has converted the prison term for drug possession for personal use into a fine of between 200 and 500 penalty units, translating to 2,400 cities to 6,000 cities instead of imprisonment. Executive Director of the POS Foundation spoke at a one-day seminar on substance abuse at the Kufuidia Sina High Technical School. If you look at harm reduction for those who use alone, which this new law also concentrates on public health and human rights, and it's a good uh, thing, uh, a good thing in the right direction. We are also looking at vigorous campaign of prevention of illicit drugs for young people so that they can be able to have a better future and run away from this. If anybody doubts, check those who have been uh, using drugs, check their future. So today we are speaking to young people and the advice we are giving to young people is that concentrate on studies. Eastern Regional Minister said Kwame Champon lauded the intervention stating it will complement government's effort in dealing with challenges among the youth. Good that everybody needs to know. They indeed participated in their numbers. They paid attention to what is happening. And I know that they have their colleagues in other schools and they communicate. So these campus interactions are very necessary for the campaign on illicit drugs and substance abuse. It is necessary that we improve upon the existing infrastructure, which government is still doing, and at the same time we improve upon the conditions of service for the managers, the teachers, which government is doing as well. Ivy Osua Santua, regional director of education, charged the students present at the event not to be influenced by social media to engage in drugs. Government is spending on you, your parents are spending on you. You have teachers who are versatile, I'm saying versatile, they are not restricted to only academic work, but they care for every sphere of life of you. Nowadays, what do we hear? What do we see on the social media? What do you present and how do you carry yourselves? Are you influenced by innocent drugs? What name are you carving for yourself? We're taking a break at this moment.